The one thing about seeing the ball is that your eyes can't physically watch it all the way. It's impossible. And so it's just going too fast. So what happens is our eyes, so there's the shot, our eyes will take these little pictures along the way to the contact point. So our release point is where the ball leaves the stick. Our contact point, let's see if I can do this. Oh, contact point is right there. OK? Does that make sense, everybody? The contact point is key. And here's why. Because a lot of goalies will see the ball very well. But due to a fear response, which we'll talk about in a second, because of a fear response, they will they'll buckle their knees a little bit and bring their hands in. And what happens is they'll follow it and just go right with the ball. And that's called a reverse C, right? You see how my body makes a reverse C, right? So they're not finding the contact point. We are finding the release point, and very, very well, right? They'll watch it all the way in. But it happens so fast, it's just boom. And they go with it. So they're not finding that contact point. You have to find the contact point. Now, if we find the release point and we find a contact point, for the most part, we're watching the ball the whole way. Make sense? But I will say, for often younger goalies, uh, they will stop watching, especially on a bounce shot somewhere in here. OK? Why? Why do we stop watching right there? Yeah. To get ready for the force of the shot, right? But what's happening? Yeah, what's happening with the shot right then? It hit the ground. It, it, it hit the ground. Why do I stop looking at it? Okay, maybe. I, th I think she, he said, I think you think you're in a good position. Yeah. What about the fear? Right. Why? Why in a bounce shot would you stop right about there? So he said that that's gonna, it's going to go and bounce up and hit you. The reason why we do that on a bounce shot is the change of direction. Because you watched it the whole way. Maybe, what, what were we talking about? Three quarters of the way, 75, 80% of the way, you watch it. And now, for about four feet in front of you, three feet in front of you, it's changing direction. And it's going, I don't know, 80, right? So now that shot became basically a four-yard shot. And so it's very common to watch it, watch it, and then do this. Or the other one I see a lot, especially with girls, that they will watch it um, come in. Basically, it's just interesting. They'll watch it about three quarters of the way and then tuck their chin. Right? So they see it and then go all the way down. So it looks like this rather than watching it all the way and then making the save, get, staying on the ball. Does that make sense? Okay. To me, that is a, that's a fear response. So we need to get over that. 